evening y'all I just wanted to do another video uh, had some time I'm cooking tonight uh, my wife had a rough day she wanted to do a chicken pot pie I told her I'd cook I was gonna cook something else she wants a chicken pot pie I've never made a chicken pot pie so we're gonna give it a go right now um, she left me out these I said no I'm not doing that so I made a homemade pie crust um, I actually have a top and a bottom. I made them homemade. I used Miss Kay Robertson's recipe from this cookbook. This is Miss Kay's uh, Duck Commander Kitchen. I like it. I like the Robertson family if y'all haven't uh, already figured that out. So now I've got pie crust kind of pre-baking. I'm about to take it out and I'm going to saute some onions and saute all my stuff. For this recipe I'm using some shredded chicken um, that my wife bought. I'm using just mixed frozen vegetables, heavy whipping cream, butter, cream of chicken, cream of chicken, chicken broth, and some diced potatoes. How we're doing it? I have no idea. Flying by the seat of my pants. Let's do it. So I'm in here chopping my onions. I didn't really want to walk, let y'all see that, but I was going to chop my onions up. And Stacy decided she's going to come help me, so she's going to start this roux. Apparently, we've got to crud. I don't. I have no idea what I'm doing, guys. Y'all have to forgive me. But we're going to do this roux with uh, butter and, I guess, onions and whipping cream, and then we're going to go on with it. And because I just picked my nose, I've got to wash my hands again. Let me tell y'all, I hate this tripod. I'm trying to figure this technology stuff out, and I hate it. I absolutely hate it. It's frustrating me. But here's what I'm going to do, because I don't know how to turn my stuff around. I'm going to take this bland chicken that we bought. I don't know why we bought it, because Stacy makes canned chicken that's wonderful. But whatever. We bought more chicken, because we won't spend more money on more chicken. So we're going to take that. I'm going to throw it all in that bowl. That's not a trash can. That's a bowl. I'm going to actually open it up. And then I'm going to mix it up and make some magic with it. While she's making my roux. Or her roux. Whatever. I don't even know where my eyes are looking. So here we go. Making the roux. She starts with some cube butter. Maybe a little hot. Burning a little bit. It'll be alright. So she's going to add some onions that I chopped up. Diced up. And I guess we're going to brown them and cook them down. Is that what we're doing? Yes. You're going to brown them and just get them tender. Get them tender. Don't caramelize them. Here's my pie crust. Turned out looking like cock a doodle do. I'm sure Miss K would gasp at that if I'm putting her name on that. But it, Miss K, it's my first ever pie crust. It's the first one I've ever done. It, it's got some bubbles in it in here. I pre-baked it for about five minutes. And, uh, I mean, it, I guess it halfway looks good. I did some patchwork to it here. But, uh, we'll see. And I didn't have butter-flavored Crisco. I had regular Crisco, so I just uh, did a little butter spread afterwards. I was very mindful of that because as people who watch this know I love butter. Well, Stacy just added some flour and I guess she's gonna add the heavy whipping cream to to her concoction. I was gonna try to do something else but I don't know how to work the tripod and microphone and I'm frustrated so I'm just gonna film for now. Narrate and film. Watch your work. See, my, my opinion, this would be where you add salt and pepper, but this isn't where we're adding no salt, no pepper. I'm going to do that to some meat. I'll do that right now. She's doing that. I'm doing meat. So cream has been creamed. Onions have been onioned. And now she's adding a little bit of chicken broth. I, I don't even know what she's trying to accomplish here. What are you trying to accomplish? You can speak. Don't be mute. <laughs> it just adds some creaminess to the... When you add in the vegetables, it just creates like a roux and some creaminess. So it'll thicken. As it cooks, it'll thicken up and make a... 
almost kind of like a little gravy texture so yeah. that the when you cut your pie it's a little bit thicker i just heard you say thicken and i know that when i look in the mirror i want to see it's thick so we'll just let this cook down a little bit and thicken up a little and then we'll add the cream of uh, chicken and the vegetables to it yay here we go now, I dumped in all that chicken. That's about, not quite two pounds, pound and a half or so of chicken. Shredded chicken, pulled chicken. I am going to uh, cover it in some of this today. This is uh, two Gringos Chupacabra Cluckalicious. You may have seen the normal Chupacabra original. It's very good. This is very delicious for chicken. I'm just going to cover it up, shake some on there, and, and see what's happening. My tripod is moving again. I hate so, it. Taking, I shake all my shakers real good before I use them. And I'm just going to sprinkle a good dosage on top here. And then, I'm scared of chicken. I'll do this. I'm kidding. I ain't scared of no meat. Take your hands and mix it in. Normally, I would just use one hand, but I've got a good dosing of it. I'll probably add a little bit more. This is cooked chicken, so I can actually taste it and see if I over-seasoned it or not. It's also going to go in with other veggies and whatnot, so, uh, you know, we could just leave it alone. i also just make it your own, guys. Use salt and pepper. You know, this looks like it's fairly seasoned pretty good. And... Uh, you know, I didn't clean or debone this chicken, so I'm sure we'll find some bones and stuff in here because other people did it. But I guess everybody needs a job. There, there's my, my sweet spot right there. Wash the hands and we'll get off to it. There she goes, a boiling. Can't see that, but she's adding cream of chicken soup or cream of mushroom soup. Cream of chicken soup and. We're trying the cream of chicken with herbs tonight. With herbs. With herbs. This is us trying to, to skip skip on some steps. So instead of doing it ourselves, we decided to go with the canned stuff that's already pre-herbed. Stacy knows I've been kind of anti-buying stuff that's already pre-made. I, I guess you can call me the caveman. I'm wanting to go back to just doing things the old-fashioned way because I feel like the country's failing and we need to learn how to do it anyway or relearn how to do it. It's not hard. I feel like some things, you can call them easier. Some things I think are just laziness. Um, but most of the time we do do things just because they're easier. But I think this is that cooking is a lost art. Uh oh She's doing something else. Just gonna add in some potatoes. Those are already cooked, so aren't they already too soft? They're already soft, yes. We're gonna add in our potatoes and our mixed vegetables to this mix. And then when you get done seasoning the chicken, we'll add in the chicken and then you pour it in your pie shell. Chicken's done. So this should be turned off because you don't want to yes. cook the potatoes. See, I'm learning. We're learning together. Got a two pound bag of mixed vegetables. I'll probably use about half of it. And I'm going to go ahead and add in a little extra seasoning because I didn't really season it. I just use a uh, garlic measure with your heart, some pepper, measure with your heart. That's very light pepper. Some salt. My heart's going to be at the table. Don't want to over salt it. And add a little onion powder in. There's some herbs you can add in too. But I stick with just those basic four. Why would you add onion powder if you already have onions in there? For my um, for my seasonings. Uh, why? Because that's just what I do. Good enough. Now we're going to add in the chicken. You can see that roux is making everything all creamy and delicious. Oh man, I gotta roll out my topping. Hang on, let me show you all this. Here's this other ball I gotta roll out. <laughs> I had forgot about it. That's gonna go on top. So let me try to set this tripod up and I'll show you how I do this. Alright, so excuse my very clean 
an organized countertop. Taking this roller here, and I'm just gonna start rolling it out. I'm not the best, most professional roller. I don't get the perfect circle. I try, but you know, I wasn't really great at geometry, and I'm not the best baker, but we'll see. We're, uh, you know, it's one of those things I can tell you all a lot, or I think I do. I tell myself this a lot. If it ain't good, go in the trash. And we'll start over with something else. But hopefully this is good. Stacy says I like chicken pot pie. I don't remember liking chicken pot pie. You know, y'all call me crazy. I'm a southern boy, and I'm one of the few guys that does not really care for meatloaf. It's just not my cup of tea. Now, all you, all you girls or bakers or chefs or whatever out there, how do I eliminate this? All these dirty edges. And I'm not a, comp a good, complete circle. Like, I want to take this and just shove it back right here, mash it down, but I don't think that's a good circle. It may not be a full circle. That ain't going to go over my... It's supposed to come up to 12 inches. That ain't going to cover my 9-inch pie pan. But... That's what I used this last time. Everything feels good and even, I think, I hope. Nope, that boasted. We'll throw that in right there. Nope, you ain't gonna throw it in. They don't just press back together. So, you give me the meats, I'll cook the meats. This, this bacon and pie stuff probably wasn't the smartest move on my part, but, We'll, we shall see. But that's that's what I'm going to use right there. You see how ugly that is? It looks like one big giant splat. And I'm going to try to make it pretty on top of a 9 inch pie plan. Pie pan, not plan. My plan is to put it on my pie pan. Okay, so I didn't tell you all. This is going to be baked at about 350 for I don't even know how long. But uh, Stacy came and saved me because... This whole technology stuff is frustrating me. But I pre-baked this for about five minutes, this crust. I hope I didn't ruin it. It's kind of fluffy. Most of it looks good, but like right here, it's still kind of fluffy. I don't know if y'all can tell it's pressing down. Uh, well, I just busted it. Either way, she's going to dump this stuff in there, and it's either going to work or it's not. And then I'm going to try to put the, the other crust on top. Or she is. One of us is. And then one thing I'm going to do once it's pretty good and done, or halfway done, is I'll uh, take some butter melted and just kind of brush the top just to give it a pretty nice pretty color. You don't have to do that, obviously. I know a lot of y'all are real real picky about your weight and your, your living, but uh, it's supposed to be good eating here. You can use fresh veggies. Use... Uh, Use everything fresh, but again, this is just to help, you know, take some shortcuts, make it easier on you. You've been working all day, or, you know, if we do get home at 4, 5, 6 o'clock, and this pie is a little full, but we're going to see how it turns out. Y'all, she just put my crust in, like, this trifold thing. Yeah, that fit just pretty good. That was much better. Did you roll it out more? Mm-mm. And that did better than the bottom crust. I'm not going to trim it because our crust is pretty full. So I'm going to try to pinch it around the edges. So maybe it'll make this little bucket and hold it in. We're probably going to have a little bit of overage. Probably going to have a little spill out. I'm probably going to have to put a pan underneath it. That's okay. And I'm darn tootin' good. I made that thing where it fit perfect. And then you can make your pie crust as pretty as you want or you can just leave it all rough around the edges it does not matter i'm gonna trim a little there my That's... bottom my bottom crust wasn't that good my top crust is pretty good i'm impressed now you can use a fork i just do the pinch method tear any excess and just pinch That's all you gotta do is pinch pinching looks better anyway 
and put it in the oven for at 350 for probably what 30 minutes 40 minutes um it's probably it's pretty full um so Power. you want it bubbling up in your pie crust golden and you can do an egg wash you can do butter on the top of the pie crust but this is one of the most important things with pot pie you have to vent it because that is a lot in there you just ruined my crust no it's gonna come out so beautiful my crust was beautiful you just ruined it it's gonna be beautiful you vent it so that everything can cook but also um, it won't bubble over the sides as much if it's vented on top. Well, I don't believe this. I just made my crust look, went from looking good, it's already busting at the seams. So we'll bake it for about an hour and we'll see y'all at the dinner table, supper table, whatever you want to call it. Product. Her cuts actually don't look as bad as I thought they would, but they still busted my crust. But we'll see how it is. We actually do have our fine china today. What? Yeah. So florals. Dishwasher. And we're gonna uh, we're gonna say a prayer and, and get on with this. Right. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you today for this food, Lord. We pray and ask that it blesses and nourishes our body, Lord. We thank you for the hands that prepared it. We thank you for uh, everything you do for us, Lord. Thank you for good friends. We thank you for family. We pray for those that are sick, for those that are hurting, and uh, ask that you just bring your peace to them, Lord, as you do for us. Father, we love you and praise you. And it's in Jesus that we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. So, a little runny. I think we overstuffed it a little bit. But I haven't tried it yet. We're going to see uh, what it is. Miss Taylor, what do you think? You tried it yet? It's hot. It's good. It's hot. I like the pie crust. You like the pie crust. Miss K for the win. Oops, this stupid phone and this stupid tripod. Miss Tara, have you tried it yet? Yes. And what do you I think, think it's good, but I think it's like soup runny and then like it's kind of like salty or peppery. Salty like, or peppery. Like over salty, peppery. I over just salted everything. or peppery. It tastes like salt. This is the first huh? time I've ever said this about chicken pot pie. It is good. What? Say it again for those in the back. It is good, but it's not the best. It's Honesty. good though. Love it. Yeah, Salty? Some. Peppery? I don't know. There's just some. It's just good. There's just a taste. Taste. I think it's really good. I hate that it turned out runny. So what the camera didn't see is that I decided to thin it out a little with uh, chicken broth and I should have just left it alone. It would have been good. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. But, but I think it has tasty. a good flavor and I love the crust. Miss K for the win. I love the crust. That was uh that pie crust I did. It's better than Pillsbury. Don't lie to Miss K. Yes. I did that so it'd be Whoa. easy, an easy meal. I didn't have to but make it's a better pie crust. than Pillsbury. I just yes. realized Miss K from Duck Dynasty. Yeah, she's from Duck Dynasty. <laughs> But that was uh, the recipe for that crust was uh, in Miss K's Duck Commander Kitchen cookbook that I showed y'all. So and I'm gonna mommy, dig in. No, I'm not, no, I'm not gonna dig in. Uh, mommy, I don't know if Mommy would want me to say this, but her middle name is K, so there's a relationship with that. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll see y'all later.